just some of the faces of those who've died this year, victims of violent crime. The figures show that's increasing and the government's under pressure to do something about it. Hi guys. Today the Home Secretary visited a project in London designed to intervene early to stop young people being drawn into violence. And she's published a new serious violence strategy for that today. It has a range of proposals, but she's insisting there's no evidence that cuts in police numbers have been part of the problem. It's simply not the case to pin the increase in serious violence that we've had on anything except the very complex layered problems that we've been looking at. And it's not just me saying that. You look at Cressida Dick, the Commissioner for London, she's been saying the same. But the Metropolitan Police Commissioner did put an extra 300 officers on the streets of London over the weekend. And a Home Office document leaked today says a cut in police numbers has likely contributed to the rise in violent crime. Since 2010, police numbers in England and Wales have gone down by about 20,000. Now, in the same period, initially, serious violent crime went down involving knives, guns and homicides. But in the last three or four years, it's been going up again. In the case of knives, by 36%. In the case of firearms, by 31%. And when it comes to homicides, that's up 18%. Chris Hobbs is a former Metropolitan Police officer who's worked extensively on violent crime. He's not happy with what he's heard today from Amber Rudd. I think the Home Secretary's attitude to police numbers is, is frankly ridiculous. It clearly has had an impact. It's had an impact in terms of policing the sort of areas where the gangs congregate, where the gangs control. Neighbourhood policing teams, community policing teams have suffered incredibly because of these cuts. The work on today's strategy began long before this surge in violent crime and there's a promise of £40 million for early intervention and community support, the use of targeted stop and search and new laws to control the sale of knives and acid. But for many, there remains a glaring omission, police boots on the ground.